So, what has lawn mowing got to do with the EV6? This is what. It's an EV cables uh, vehicle to load ad adapter, which is five meters long, and it's better than the other one. Um, this episode's my review of it, and what's good and bad, and why is it why it's better than the EV6 standard one. The problem with the official Kia vehicle to load is there's, there's a few things. One, it's not very water resistant. I mean, you've only got that to keep the water out. I mean, I know it's not designed to be, but um, you just got to be very wary in case it starts raining, unless you put poly bags around it. But even that doesn't work very well. The other problem is um, the UK power plug isn't really a good fit for this kind of design. And you see that the cable comes out through the bottom and when you shut this it puts a strain on the cable there which eventually ends up with the insulation uh, coming apart and also when you close the end it, it pulls the plug out gradually so that's not good or really that safe I mean these are made for continental adapters and the rest of the world where you've got a straight in connection not really for a, a UK connector so you can see that that's bending the plug wire all the way around so you can just about shut it uh, if I to open it again you see it's already prized the 13 amp plug slightly out and if you can see it there yeah and that gradually works its way out so another thing to look out for also um, if you've got the base trim EV6 um, it's quite an expensive adapter to buy um, so that's where the EV cables adapter comes in, third party. Basically this is just a cable with a switch and a LED on it and a, and, and a power safety thing. But for about £174, £175, uh, there was a discount on the website when I bought it, you get a 5 metre extension and you can choose your end. So um, there's five meters of this and that'll go into the garage door and I can power two emergency sockets around the house if the power goes out. So that's me covered in case we get the expected power cuts this winter, uh, which are being talked up at the moment. Um, and the other end, you've just got the switch, but there's no LED in it. Uh, but I, um, I'll show you how to uh, spot if you've got it on or off. Uh, cable is proper rubber. I mean, I've not had a proper rubber cable in absolute years. It's very well made and very robust um, because you haven't got any 13 amp connection there. Uh, it's been moved, the socket's been moved out of, the, out of any possible moisture and into my garage. It's, um, as you saw in the lawnmower um, demo I did, I also did it acts as an extension for that. Um, so it's useful for doing your garden stuff um, if you have no solar or not enough solar and you don't really want to spend your very expensive electricity. Overall, um, I'd highly recommend this. Um, it's well worth getting and cheaper than the Kia alternative. Um, it's possible it might work in the new Nero EV but it doesn't say so on the website. Um, I'll try and find out about that. One difference between this um, EV cables vehicle to load adapter and the Kia one is there is no LED indicator on it. Um, so I wish it did have one but there are other ways of seeing if you've got it switched on or not. The first one is to look in the binnacle. Currently it's not reporting anything but Turn it on, 
the car's beeped. That says transferring. I turn it off. It says vehicle to load. The condition's not met, so that means it's off. Actually, the price I paid for the cab is less than I thought. It was uh, 171.52, including postage, and the discount code, which um, you get that if you get to see the pop-up on their website and it invites you to join the mailing list. If you wait for the email to come through, then you can apply that discount code. Um, that knocks £7.52 off. Um, this was just for a single 13 amp socket version. Um, and as I say, it's highly recommended. Uh, one thing I need to add about uh, the vehicle to load cable. Um, the same as on the Kia version, you have to um, turn it off first before you can unlock it from the car. If you don't do that, then you can't get the cable out. And as I've shown, if you look at the binnacle screen, when you press the button, currently it says V2L is transferring. So the order is turn it off, confirm it's off. See, so condition's not met. Then a single unlock from the car. Then you can take it out. I hope you found this video useful and thank you for watching.